Hi everybody, it's Amalia, and I'm here today to introduce you to my 2021 crafty goals. These are my goals for 2021. If you're new to this channel, uh, you don't know about this, but uh, click thumbs up and definitely subscribe. If you're new to this channel, uh, for the past several years, I have been uh, putting out my goals, my crafty goals every year, and uh, every month I do a progress report on how I'm doing in my goals. For the past two years, in 2019 and 2020, I've had a group of like-minded uh, crafty YouTubers join me in this collab and um, put out their goals on their channel and also um, do their progress reports uh, as well once a month and um, we're doing uh, another one this year and uh, if you'd like to join us uh, keep stay tuned and I'll tell you all about how you can join and uh, but let me tell you a little bit about my goals for 2021 so the one thing that I do when uh, I start with figuring out what goals I want is I take a book and this is the book that I've used uh, well, I've used it since 2019, but here are my goals for 2017, and I know I did it in 2016. I must not have just kept the papers. So that was 2017. Here's 2018. Oh, here's how I tracked it. This is when I started sharing it on YouTube, and then 2019 was when, um, I did the collab with all the other collabers. Here's 2020. But basically, I start out with uh, writing down what it is that I want. I write down what it is that I want, what, what's the purpose. I usually ask myself the who, what, where, when, how, and why questions, with the why question being the most important. So just do um, do a brain dump, what I like to call a brain dump. Just start writing, sort of train of thought writing about your crafty goals and what it is about your crafty life and all the things that interest you and, and what it is that you wanna accomplish in 2021 with your crafty goals. Um, so just kind of do like a, a brain dump, just get it all out of your head and put it all onto paper and then, um, then, then review it and make sure you answer the question of why it is you want to do what you do, what you want to do. And my usual answer is, is because I want to use my stuff. I love to craft. I want to share it with other people and uh, I don't want to spend money on things that I'm never going to use anymore. I just want to use my stuff. So um, that's the first thing to start with, okay? So just do kind of like a brain dump and um, uh, get it all out of your head and onto paper. And um, one of the things that you can, you might see from the thumbnail on this video uh, is called SMART. And this is sort of like a template for how to approach uh, goal setting and goal achieving. So you wanna use the an acronym SMART, S being for specific. Make sure your goals are specific. Oh, I'll, I wanna use my stuff. That's great, what stuff? Uh, well, I, I, all of it. Okay, well, that's good, but let's let's narrow it down just a little bit. And uh, let's say, I wanna use my paper. Okay, great. Um, what do you like to do? Do you like to scrapbook? Do you like to make 3D paper craft projects? Do you like to make banners? Do you like to make cards? Yes, all of the above. Oh, okay, great. So, <laughs> so include that as part of your goals. I want to make uh, 25 go uh, cards this year. I want to do 25 scrapbook pages this year. I want to make a banner to make my craft room look pretty. So those are specific goals and those are things that you can write down as your goals and then try to uh, accomplish during the year. So make sure your goals are focused and identify a tangible outcome. What's the outcome? I'm using my stuff. I'm using my stuff. I'm sharing it with other people. And without specifics, your goals will run the risk of being too vague, right? You don't want them to be vague because you want something specific to shoot for. And at the end, you'll see what it is that you've accomplished. Make sure they're measurable. So, and that's why I said make 25 cards, make 20 uh, scrapbook pages. Uh, at, make it a number, put a number on it, 
put a number uh, with it, associate a number with it, and again, at the end, you'll see you've done this many of what you, it was that you wanted to do. Maybe you make more than 25 cards. Make you, maybe you make less than, than 20 um, uh, scrapbook pages. Um, but that's okay. At the end, you will have done something, and that's the most important part. And if you did all of the things that you said you were gonna do, well, damn, you're good. And, and that's great. And it's possible. Uh, getting on this road will show you that it's possible. Uh, a, make sure that they're attainable. Okay, so maybe 25 cards is, is, is a lowballing it. That's fine. You can always up it later. You can always change that number three months ahead if you've already created your 25 cards. Oh, oh maybe I'll need to change it and make it 100. That's great. But you don't want to change it and say, okay, well, I've already done, you know, 50 cards of my 25 goal. Maybe I should make a thousand. At this rate, I can make a thousand this year. You always have to make sure that your goals are actually attainable. You, the goal should definitely be challenging, but something that's reasonable to achieve. And thinking about this particular aspect can help you really help you with any barriers okay so you know uh, it takes a lot of time to do certain projects or maybe it doesn't take a lot of time but it takes some effort and then clean up and this and that and you have a life you have you have kids maybe that you need to attend to you have a husband you have a family you have friends you have work you have other priorities besides your crafty life that are going to crop up regardless so um so those are the things that you have to think of and, you know, make them attainable so that you can, you know, pat yourself on the back and rightfully so. The next one is R. Make sure that they're either realistic, also attainable or relevant. So this is about getting real with yourself and ensuring what you're trying to achieve is worthwhile to you and uh, making sure that these things align with your values and your priorities, right? Your family's a priority, not crafting. So if you have to adjust your goals at a certain point because um, what you said you were gonna do wasn't attainable, then, then you do that. Um, but make sure they're relevant, okay? And they also have to be time bound. So um, we're starting in January. We're going to do a monthly recap the first Saturday of every month at 3 p.m. You'll find a video from me and all my crafty friends that want to join this collab. And um, at the end of the year, which is actually going to be January uh, next year, it'll be the first uh, Saturday of the month where we'll recap not only December, but the entire year, uh, and then you'll be able to not only not only we'll be re recapping every month, but at the end of the year we'll do a recap as well, and so it'll keep it in a realistic time frame for you, and you'll be able to see every month how far you've come along. Okay, um, there's also something that I saw recently called Smarter Goals, and Smarter extends the the acronym with another ER that says that uh, the E is evaluate and the R is reconsider, right? So reconsider, okay? So at some point you're gonna have, when you're going through your goals, maybe you only wanna do this for three months, right? So at the three month mark, you're gonna take a look at what you've accomplished and uh, evaluate where you are. Is this workable? Am I gonna be able to continue on with this or do I need to maybe re-swizzle everything and just reconsider? Or, you know what, I've done this for the last three months. I'm really happy with my progress. I'm really happy with what I've done. I've got my mojo going and everything's really cool. Terrific, nothing left to do. Go on with your happy life. But maybe you need to reconsider what you've uh, what you've uh, set out and uh, you want to re-swizzle your goals. That's the perfect opportunity. So anyway, take that acronym and do it with it what you will, but I'm going to go into what my goals are. And um, if you're interested in joining this collab, what I want you to do is do a brain dump, write down your goals, and uh, write down your goals somewhere and track them um, however however you think is appropriate. I'm gonna show you my tracker, it's a couple of pages. Uh, if you take a look in my playlist, I have a playlist from 2019 and from 2020 
2019, I have videos from all the people that were in the collab, and in 2020, they're just my videos. You can take a look at how um, uh, how people set up their trackers to get some ideas. And uh, if you're going to join this collab, you're going to use the hashtag Crafty Goals, okay? And uh, put your goals out there and then do a recap once a month. If you're going to do it on YouTube, you'll put Crafty Goals in the title. Uh, and if you're going to do Facebook, just put the hashtag in on Facebook, you could do it on Instagram, you could do it on your blog, blog post, but use this hashtag and uh, we'll be able to find you and we'll look you up and cheer you on, okay? That's also how you're going to find the videos for everyone else in this collab. Just put hashtag crafty goals in the search bar in YouTube and you'll find the videos for everybody in this collab and you can click on them and cheer them on and um what's a hashtag well if you don't know a hashtag when you put the hash tag in front of any saying or word that's a clue to whatever search engine you put this into to find uh content on the internet with that particular hashtag if you put um, the hashtag blue things that are related to blue hashtag blue um, will come up in your search results if you put in uh, hashtag curly hair don't care <laughs> all one word no spaces curly hair don't care you'll come up with content all about people with curly hair and their fabulous curly hair, you'll be able to see images, you'll see blog posts, videos, Instagram posts, all uh, with, uh, oh, Facebook posts, anything with curly hair don't care. So you want to put in uh, hashtag, uh, God, hashtag readers. Uh, you'll find content about readers and you'll either find contact about glasses for reading or people reading books okay so um, when you see those hashtags at the bottom of people's posts that's what this is it's basically a search term it's a way of doing a search term for a particular thing okay that's what a hashtag is so don't forget the hashtag crafty goals all one word crafty goals and you will um, we'll be able to find you and you can find us so click thumbs up if you are excited about this and leave a comment below and let me know if you're going to join. Here's my goals. And uh, so I do a lot of uh, collabs during the year. Well, not, not really a lot. A lot for me. <laughs> uh, I do collabs during the year. I'm in a house mask collab. Show us your sheet load. Smash that. Smash our stash. A jewelry collab, uh, my goals collab, and I'm going to join two other uh, hops or collabs during the year. So I'm listing them here and I'm just going to check them off as we go throughout the month. I set up some, um, some rewards for myself. I didn't do rewards before. I want the, wanted the achievement of my goals to be the reward and, uh, and it was, but I'm changing it up a little bit. Last year I set up a goal for myself, uh, not to, uh, actually for the last six months of the year, I wanted to spend less than $500 on craft supplies. Well, within three months I had spent almost the entire $500. And um, then for the last three months, I didn't spend a dime. And it was kind of hard, uh, right? And then it became a little easier. And then in the final month, it was a breeze. It wasn't a big deal. I really didn't want anything. And so, um, so that's great. But now I'm kind of getting that feeling again. You know, it's a new year, new possibilities, <laughs> new excitement, new stuff. And um, I'm getting that, you know, that itch of I want to buy something. But I really, 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 really don't need anything. And I mean really don't need a damn thing. Um, so I am going to set myself with some 
uh, rewards for accomplishing some things. Now, uh, since I'm in a lot of collabs, that makes me a little nervous, a little anxious sometimes, because you have to produce things on a timeline uh, because you made a commitment to not only the person that started the collab, but the people that are in the collab. And um, I'm kind of like the person that always does things at the last minute and, and it's, you know, it can be a little stressful, right? So one of the rewards that I set up for myself is that if I get three to six months uh, in advance, I'm gonna give myself some kind of reward. I haven't figured out my rewards yet, uh, but I'm gonna give myself some kind of reward. And uh, I don't, I already have the list for house mouse, smash our stash and jewelry. So those three I can do ahead of time. Uh, show us your sheet load, I don't get ahead of time. And of course, goals is, is simple to do. But if I can do that with these three and do things uh, at least three to six months in advance, not only will that be an accomplishment uh, for me and a reduction of stress for me for getting things done on time, uh, I think that's something that deserves being rewarded. Um, so I'm going to figure out some reward for myself and that's going to be my reward. And then at the end, I'm going to have some sort of reward for being 100% complete, like completing these with a hundred percent attendance because sometimes they let you take you know one opportunity to take off for a month because life happens and sometimes you just need a break and then a reward for doing it at 80 percent like if i need to take one day i'm gonna take a day so those are my collab goals and then um for the things that I want to do also for 2021. Uh, I want to get into some projects and techniques. I'm calling it a project and technique deep dive. What's that all about? What that all is all about is I have some private playlists that I have been uh, adding videos to since 2008, probably when YouTube first started. When YouTube first started, um, I didn't do videos. And um, I slowly got out into doing videos, etc. But I was mostly just collecting playlists. This was before Pinterest, and I was putting pin, I was pinning videos into playlists to watch later to do some of the techniques. So, uh, and I have a Pinterest board where I pin a, a whole bunch of techniques. So I want to take all of those. YouTube playlists and the Pinterest boards and I'm including projects that I haven't finished or even haven't started but you know how I've collected a bunch of stuff in one spot and this is going to be for that particular project. Um, I have a techniques journal that I would like to finish up as well. I still need to finish up a hex chart from a class I took. I have kits and magazines and etc. So I've, I've sort of all clumped those into one big thing. But I really want to deep dive into the techniques that I saved on YouTube playlists and on Pinterest boards. So that's what I'm what I'm gonna log in this right here. And I'm gonna reward myself if I do three big projects, these type of projects here, I'm gonna give myself some sort of fabulous reward. If I do 12 techniques from one of these two boards or playlists, I'm gonna give myself, you know, sort of decent reward, not a big deal, right? And then if I do two kits, I'm going to have that reward. If I do 24 techniques instead of 12, I'm going to give myself a bigger reward. Again, I still haven't figured out what the rewards are. So um, I'm going to just like do like a, a list of things I want type thing. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Uh, then for uh, this page, I want to do some tutorials. I have specific tutorials in mind. I definitely want to do some cake decorating tutorials. I have been wanting to teach this one class um, uh, for, for years, years and years and years. I think it's a fun project and uh, I want to teach that class. Uh, we can't do it in live and in person anymore, so I'm going to do, I'm going to do videos. I'm going to get it done. I'm determined. And so uh, that's one part right there. So I'm gonna do cake tutorials. I wanna do some mixed media or a polymer clay tutorial. And uh, these are for paper craft tutorials. That's that section. I still have six by six paper pads and I wanna kill those paper pads. <laughs> I wanna kill the paper pads. Like seriously, I'm gonna kill them. And um, so I have, I wanna do about four this year. Uh, these are all pretty lofty goals for me. Anyway, anyway, and if I do that at 100%, I'm gonna give myself a fabulous reward. Still don't know what it is, but I'm gonna do it. 
Uh, I also still want to take some classes, so I'm going to take at least four classes. I have three specific ones in mind. One I need to finish from last year, one I bought last year that never started, and uh, there's another one that I heard about that I really am interested in and like to do. And so if I do all four of them, my reward is at 100% is going to be whatever. So those are my goals. Um, if you're already subscribed to my channel, please click the bell. If you click the bell, you'll get notified whenever I post a video. So you'll get notified when I post an update on my uh, goals and when I do all these tutorials. And you'll also get an update whenever I post to my community channel and if I do lives and things of that nature. So um, please definitely click that bell and leave a comment below if you plan on joining us. If you're gonna join us, again, you're just gonna use craft, hashtag crafty goals, all one word, uh, in the title of your video. And um, you're gonna tell us what your goals are. And then on the first Saturday of the month, at three o'clock, you can post your video or post your Instagram or post to Facebook, excuse me, or post to your blog uh, about your progress on your goals. And, and that's it. I hope you join us. I'm really excited about this year. I think it's going to be a good year. I know it hasn't started very well, but regardless, I think things are looking up and um, I'm... I'm very excited and I'm really excited to have you join and I'm put that hashtag crafty goals in my search bar and find all of your content. So thanks so much everybody for stopping by. I really appreciate you taking time to watch this video and listen to me go on and on and on. And um, I hope I get to see you soon. Bye.